Good evening, everyone. Since I started the live in English, this means we're having guests from another country. First, I would like to thank our partner university, our partner university, the European universities in Egypt, for making this live happen. I would like to introduce Dr. Francesco Nava. He is the London School of Economics Academic Director of Economics, Management, Finance, and Social Sciences Program in uh, at the uh, University of London, hosted by the EU. Hello. Hi, Dr. Francesco. Can you hear us well? Yeah, I can hear you great. It's nice to be here. So should I get it going? Yes, I'm going to start with uh, the first question is um, students need to understand what is the difference between uh, finance and economics and what are the social sciences? What's the difference between finance and economics and what are social sciences? Okay, um, so uh, finance and economics, uh, if you think about it, we can say that finance is a branch really of economics that specializes in one thing, which is the pricing of assets and commodities. And so, you know, if you take a pathway that takes you through finance, it will be one where you specialize on that microeconomic aspect of pricing commodities, whereas if you do economics, you will be looking at strategic incentive in a wide variety of contexts. Think about goods markets, but it's not limited to that. You can think about strategic thinking in politics or strategy. So it's a much broader field. Overall, I would say that if we want to qualify social sciences, it's a branch of academia that focuses on human behavior and human interactions and social interactions and tries to model them quantitatively to get predictions and to test theories uh, in such way. So, by the way, I wanted, before we started, no, I wanted to say welcome all. I'm Francesco Nava. I'm the academic director of these uh, programs that LSE runs in conjunction with the University of London, which are called the uh, programs in economics, finance, management and social sciences or EMFSS so that we are all on par. And I'm an economist at LSE, so my pitch for economics, apologies for that. And um, yeah, I'm also the MSc economist program director so if you do well at EUE uh, I will have you as my students on campus and I hope for that uh, it's a pleasure meeting you um, how what's so unique about this program in the university what's what does it make it special Okay, so it's a very special program because it's a quite international program. If you think about it, we have teaching centers in 20 countries, about 35 of them in the EMFSS suite. And, you know, the idea, the motto of the program is study locally, but think globally. So we want to reach out for students that want to have a global impact, that care about making a difference in their own way to the the world, but that are attached to their country for various reasons and that think that it's important to stay home, to study at least for your undergraduate studies and to contribute to your country. So that's a big plus. Another big plus is this wonderful network we have of alumni which spans the globe and industries across the globe so you will be really if you study on a, on an emfss degree you will become a part of this and you know if you stay in egypt great but wherever you will go in whichever sector you will want to study you will have people that are your peers and that understand your past that value your qualification so i think it's a great asset. For LSE it's an important thing because you know and part of the mission of LSE is reaching the world and trying to make a positive difference to important policy question whether in the public or the private sphere and so this suite of degrees enable us to reach more people and to teach uh, advanced knowledge that was developed at LSE and elsewhere and to make you, let's say, top-end uh, uh, 
social scientist by the end of your degree. So that's the value added. Let me say that another private value added, if you decide to do that, is that you will have a strong connection to LSE and that there are many pathways to come to LSE, whether it is for summer school at a lower rate, whether it is spending a year at LSE through the general course program, you will have a preferential entry, or whether it is to get a master's degree afterwards at LSE. We value EMFSS qualifications and you, this type of degree. We know that you know the students who succeed in this are top end students and we want them in our master's degree so i think you know there are there is a lot of value in these degrees and we are true believers not everything is always perfect but you know under my direction we will seek to improve as much as we can and i think the product is already great and we really hope you will consider it so i don't want to give too long answers it's my specialty but noah key to me <laughs> um we always receive this uh, question um is it the same graduating here from EUE, the same from uh, as graduating from uh, University of London? Do they study the same syllabus? Um, are they assessed by the same way? Okay. So, the syllabi on EMFSS degrees are essentially extremely close to the syllabi that you will study at LSE on campus. We are particularly attentive that is there is a close match between EMFSS degrees and what happens on campus at LSE. So the syllabus it's literally the same on a wide variety of courses. There is a minor subset that has smaller differences but minor ones and we review courses every five years to make sure that everything is kept in sync. On top of that each EMFSS course has a course coordinator which is an LSE faculty member that is teaching on the same subjects on campus and that makes sure that there is a close alignment between the two so you should think that in terms of study content it's really extremely close that's the aim for it of course because of that our programs I don't want to lie are challenging because we expect you to study hard and to to do well i mean it's not that you have to study and only study you know I'm, I'm a man of the world i understand that students are young and they need other things but you know we are extremely keen that if you take emfss once you graduate you're a top end economist financial economist or what manage <laughs> managerial economist whatever you want to do so you know there is a clo very close alignment one of the differences is that in, if you study with the MFSS, your awarding, your degree will be from University of London and not from LSE, but even on the degree certificate, it will say that the academic direction was from the London School of Economics and employers worldwide realize that there is this alignment and that, you know, assessment, your exams are written by LSE economics, are marked on camp, not economists, social scientists, I apologize, this is because I'm an economist, uh, social scientists and that they're marked by LSE staff on campus, so, you know, we mark at the same standard and you know that's what makes it a bit challenging but you know i hope you release the challenge and we we'll succeed and then dominate the world through it so you know i know it will be at times tough when you study the more quantitative subject but that's the game and i think you have what it takes to succeed and i hope you will study with us through UE, which is a lovely partner institution that, you know, we're proud to work with. Um, I guess this is the last question we're having. Um, what if we have a student who um, don't know which of these major he's more interested in? Um, does he receive any kind of support from the university to help him make his choice? 
look, uh, University of London will guide you, but you know, we have info sessions because of that. And I'm happy to spend a few words now trying to provide some guidance. You know, UE will be offering four of the nine degrees we offer on EMFSS. The degrees that will be offered, at least in the, for this first core, are some of my favorite degrees. So let me try to give you a pitch for each of this. So the first one, economics and politics. This is for someone who cares about how markets work and cares to understand how trade flows work worldwide, but also cares a lot about policy and policy relevant question. Maybe thinking about a career in politics or a career in governmental institutions. It's a degree that will prepare you both quantitatively through the economics and the statistics statistics and the math that you will study on it, but will also give you a flair of understanding how quantitative thinking can be brought upon topics in politics, policy, and political science more broadly. So I think that degree is for people who, you know, have some public good in mind and you know you will find employment even then if you want just private sector after that degree but i see that as you know the degree for the dreamers let's say for the ones that have an ambition also to shape the world policy wide then we have the economics and finance degree. This is a degree that is geared towards preparing you more towards the financial sector. It's not a pure finance degree, so you will get a bit of a broader look. You will be broader than a pure financial economist that is primarily trained to work in the financial industry and only in the financial industry. But nevertheless, it will give you excellent and outstanding qualifications to, to prep uh, for um, um, to work in the financial sector if you elect to do so, but even in industry if you change your mind towards the end of your degree. Uh, it's also an excellent degree to work in the consulting sector and so you should keep it in mind as you know consulting for social scientists is a big employment opportunity and one that leads to fruitful development. Then I think we have business and management that is the more managerial degree that's more uh, will develop more your skills thinking about how business works, how uh, management, uh, modern management styles work. It will look more at the internal workings of corporations and firms. The last degree is data science and business analytics. And this is the more modern degree we have. It's one that is really employable these days and is to work in companies or institutions to analyze big data sets and big data which is the modern trend in a lot of industries you think about selling online but if you think about modern data analysis that is used both in public policy and in the private sphere that's what that degree is for and I really want to give a shove to that degree you know i'm an economist i love economics but i think if i was young and i wanted not to do academia but to work in the private sector i would seriously seriously think about that degree because it's an outstanding degree and one that is highly sought after in the private sector so each degree has a comparative advantage the ones the four that will be offered there are four outstanding degrees please Choose one, you can't go wrong, but you know, I, for me, I would have done either econ and finance or uh, data science and business analytics, but I like the dreamers that will do politics. I'm a bit further from management, but you know, I don't want to discourage that. It's very important thing. It's just not me. So, you know, choose with your heart they're all degrees that will get you a good job afterwards and one that will pay you well and i hope that after that you come to lse to do my master so something with econ would help you with that but also the data science we want on our master so yeah dr francesco thank you for all uh, of the valuable information 
and waiting to see you again in another dance. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, no, it was a pleasure and, you know, happy to do more of this if students have questions about degrees, but, you know, we, let me conclude with a pitch because anyway, I like to ramble. It's a very important suite of degrees. We have had Nobel Prize winners studying on AMFSS. It's it's a really great endeavor, this one. And, you know, I think if you study with these degrees, we will see you on campus in London, whether for graduate studies or summer school, and you will be part of a big family. We consider EMFSS students as a part of LSE, despite the awarding body being University of London. And yeah, we really want you on the degree. So we really are proud to work with the European European University of Egypt to have on this endeavor. And I think, you know, we were underdeveloped in Egypt and we are so proud and grateful to have found such an excellent partner. And yeah, we want you. So please don't hesitate, uh, enroll. And yeah, I want to see you on campus after that. So yeah, that's my sales pitch, but yeah, it was great to be here. And if you have more questions, we can do more of this. Now that I know how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll see you again. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.